Hi, welcome. Um, today we're going to look at um, changing the nozzle on your 3D printer to get some more details and um, yeah, get a, get a better prints actually. Um, so we're going to change from a 0.4 millimeter diameter uh, nozzle, which is the standard ones, to a 0.2 millimeter um, nozzle from the Creative Tools in Sweden. Um, so this new nozzle is um, it's a fourth of the size since it's uh, diameter. Um, so you will get very fine details and be able to print very nice parts. So uh, in this video I will change the left nozzle, um, as you can see here. Um, I've also um, mounted a fan, as you can see, the, the green model. Uh, but it's important that when you change nozzle you have to hold the whole um, a printer head. Um, you can't just try to unscrew the nozzle because uh, everything is not as um, tight enough together. So the first thing we want to do is to uh, simply preheat or use change filament to um, start heating up the extruder. Since it's plastic inside the nozzle you have to have it heated before you can remove it. Um, if you try to remove a nozzle without um, it being um, hot, that could lead to uh, a cracked nozzle, which is impossible to repair uh, if you don't replace everything in the in the printer head or the printer block. Um, so yeah, that just takes a few seconds. Um, I'm going to skip that part. <laughs> Um, so after that you can see here we have the left extruder. As you can see the gap between the two uh, yellow parts. I'm using this knife just to block them so they don't rotate. Um, because those those uh, yellow boxes or, or how, how you say it, will, um, will move if you don't uh, have it. You should use a proper tool. Um, unfortunately I don't have any ones in my shop yet. So I'm just using a clipper to unscrew the nozzle. Uh, in the background you can see the fan duct that, that I've mounted. It's also to to get extra nice details on the um, on the replicator, MakerBot replicator jewel. Uh, so there it is. Um, and that's basically it. And now I'm taking a new extruder. It's That's not very difficult. It can be cold since it shouldn't be any plastic inside it. Uh, if you are changing to a nozzle that you've already used, you should um, either have it heated or you should have it cleansed. If you're using ABS you can have acet uh, acetone for example. So when you have mounted a new extruder it's time to create a profile. Um, so make sure that you're using the, the right printer and just load up a, a model. Um, like this one, um, yeah, I'm just gonna rotate it correctly. Something like that. Um, we're going to create a profile in Makeware um, so that uh, the, the printer knows what to do with the new nozzle because you can't just use the normal settings. First of all, it's the wrong diameter, so the slicing will be totally off. Uh, it will only be small strings. And secondly, you have to change the speeds um, to reduce uh, pressure buildup. Since you're having a much smaller nozzle, you can't use the same speed. So we're uh, taking the. I'm going to use PLA. So I'm using the PLA as a profile and um, creating a new uh, new profile. Or I actually already had one, but I will show you the settings. Um, so the first thing that you want to change is um, the layer height. So, for example, with my old machine, uh, 0.15 is is quite maximum. I, I wouldn't use 0.1 or 0.05. Um, another thing that you want to do is to change the rapid movement so it doesn't move too fast. Um, it's it's good since you're using slower speeds as well. Um, temperature all depends on, on what filament, of course. Uh, one thing that you can change, especially when doing smaller small models with um, uh, fine layer height, heights, is to reduce roof and floor thickness. Um, sometimes you want to have, um, if you're doing small figurines, for example, you don't want to have one millimeter of, of bottom. So you can change it to uh, 0.5. 
and also in this case remove support and remove um, uh, raft and then we're going to the more ex um, important part this is the most important in the extruder profiles you will find um, the nozzle diameter uh, which is should be 0.2 now you can have two separate um, extruders as long as they're on the same height so you have to uh, double check that before but you can have one that is 0.4 and one that is 0.2 for example to to change and to have um, to not be uh, have to change um, extruders every time you want to do different models and that's basically it um, Exporting the file here, you can see the um, yeah, just the, uh, the slices look good. Everything looks good, and uh, this is the result. Uh, might not show that much, but there's a lot of details. It's very difficult to to photograph. Um, you can see, example, compared to coin and, and millimeter, it's it's very small, and it's still a lot of details. Um, it's especially the sharp edges are. Amazing. The part on the left is a normal print with a 0.4 millimeter, um, the gray one. It's difficult to focus here. I'm sorry, um, yeah, but you can see the small, um, all the small sh uh, squares so or the small edges are uh, quite impressive. Actually, uh, since you have a much smaller nozzle, it will uh, all the corners will be less rounded. So this is uh, another example. It's a uh, classic uh, figurine maybe um, I think it should be the correct height of around one inch in height um, but it's it's also difficult to focus on but you can basically see his um, belt and everything so I hope you liked this video and it uh, helped you um, figure out how to um, shape the nozzle. If you liked it and would like to see more, um, please subscribe and click the like button. If you didn't like it, please leave it a thumbs down and leave a, drop a comment on, on what I did wrong. <laughs> Hope to hear from you soon. See you. Bye.